Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about my new favorite color grading plugin. So basically Dehancer is a color grading plugin that I use. It is basically used to emulate film. They actually have a lot of the film stocks that I have used before in real life to shoot film photography. So I use the plugin inside of DaVinci Resolve 18 currently. And what I do is I usually add a second node onto my clip that I have and I drag Dehancer onto the clip. And you can see that once I do that, you have this menu that pops up. What's really cool about it is that Dehancer actually has a bunch of options for when you input your clip. So over here, it makes it really easy to kind of input whether you're color grading in any of these color spaces, the source. Um, what I usually do is I usually go down and I do choose camera. And for this camera, I believe my DP Ian, shout out Ian, he was using his Sony, he was using his A7S III and we were shooting at S-Log ISO 640. So as you can see, it already kind of threw on a basic kind of Rec 709 LUT on there. What's really awesome is that Dehancer breaks it down super easy. They've got all these different tabs. Um, the first tab being this film stock generator. I absolutely love how many film stocks Dehancer has included on this list. And I think for this one, this project, I think I was going with Kodak Aerocolor 4, 125. Um, so once you put that in there, you can see that it kind of gives the clip a very nice looking grade. It's already looking super dope from the start. I did add this node on here, so let me just get rid of that. Behancer makes it super easy to kind of customize all these film stocks. So you can go in and you can kind of change exposure, contrast, color density. You can play around with all of these. I don't do too much. I, already this image is looking super amazing. One of my favorite things to usually add to my images is bloom. And so I'm gonna go down and enable bloom. And you can see that it definitely added a lot of bloom to this image. I'm not sure if I want that much, but it is really, really simple to kind of shift that. So you can kind of bring down the highlights if you want. I think what I'm gonna do is bring down the diffusion a little bit so it's not as crazy, crazy. You can just play around with these sliders to kind of get the effect that you want. And I like that a lot. Their film grain emulation looks really freaking good. You can change everything about the film grain. You can change the size, the amount, even the film resolution. You can kind of control whether it's, you know, more in the shadows, midtones, or highlights. You can also add halation to your shots. And to put it like super simply, halation is around the highlights, you'll start to see kind of like a, a red glow. I won't get into like the technical specs of where that comes from from film, but it's a really cool and like, very unique effect. You can also tweak so many other things like exposure, temperature, tint. You can honestly customize all these film stocks to be exactly what you want for exactly the shots that you want. And I think that that's super cool because it's not just, you know, Dehancer is not just like, here, throw a film stock on your footage and that's it. They give you so many options to play around with how the film stocks actually render out in your image and it gives you a lot of freedom to kind of start with a film stock, but really honestly create your own grade within using that film stock. Dehancer is by far, hands down, the best tool and plugin that I've used to kind of give my, give my projects and my footage that character that I'm looking for. And I think that that's something that's super important to me when I'm color grading is kind of color grading images that have just a really nice color character to them that have a little bit of rawness, a little bit of like just tangibility to them. I feel like Dehancer is really able to get me there. Honestly, their dedication to making this plugin super, super easy to use and also just delivers incredible results. I honestly never color grade anything anymore without Dehancer and I'm absolutely in love with it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope you tune in to the next one. I will see you next time.